Hello, this is winemaker Jason Moore from Modus Operandi Cellars. Thought I'd give you a real quick uh, bit of insight into the brains of the winemakers. This is something that we think about every day during harvest and is definitely the most important decisions that winemakers make throughout harvest because it has a tremendous impact on the style of the wine and that's picking decision. And the, re the way we get to that decision is through sampling the vineyards. So as I sample, you know, basically take the block that you have and, and um, cut it up into sections or if it's a small block you can just go down a couple rows but the idea is as you're walking down the rows you kind of zigzag back and forth you walk up about 10 feet 20 feet take a cluster walk up another 10 or 20 feet on the other side of the vine row take another cluster and keep zigzagging like that back and forth all the way up the rows come down another row, maybe seven rows down, and do the same thing to, to get a good representative sample of what's actually there in terms of ripeness in the vineyard. So there's two ways to sample. One is uh, berry sampling, and that's when you just go through and do that same zigzagging, but as you zigzag, you also take a few berries from the bottom of the cluster. The next time, you'll maybe take some berries from the shoulder, the top of the shoulder of the, of the cluster. Next time, maybe from the back side of the cluster where it's more shaded, there's there's all different kinds of environments that, that, that those clusters are going to be exposed to in terms of lighting and uh, uh, you know, airflow and things like that. So you want to make sure that you get enough of a representation of not just one area, not just one type of exposure on the fruit. Because if you do, then you'll get, a, you know, you'll get, bad, you'll get bad numbers. The other way to sample fruit is to cluster sample. And this is the way that I prefer to do it because what you're doing then is you're, you don't need to take berries from each section of the cluster. You're getting the entire cluster. Trust me, there's plenty of clusters out there, so it's not a big deal. But when you take the entire cluster, you're getting, you're getting the entire environment in one pick, in one, in one sampling. So as I walk through, I basically fill up a gallon bag full of, of these grapes. So here we are back at the winery slash lab. We've got our gallon bag full of grapes that we've sampled from this Rutherford Vineyard. Uh, this is Sauvignon Blanc. So then what I do basically is I will crush these up with, with my fist to extract as much of the juice as I can. And again, if this was berry sampling, it would be, there would be no stems inside. It would just be individual berries. You'd have a much smaller sample. This gives you a much bigger sample. So I think that with that, you're going to get a better, you know, better result ultimately. So just roll the fist and crush those up. And then what I would do is I would take a little sample vial, pour just about 50 milliliters of this juice into the sample vial and give it to the lab. They'll analyze the juice and send numbers back, uh, of, you know, and then we'll kind of have a good idea of the progression of the ripeness in the vineyard uh, from a, from a quantitative standpoint at least. So of course, numbers aren't everything. Um, in the old days, numbers were very important. These days, they're, we kind of use the numbers along with the most important thing, which is the taste. Of course, um, you know, the style of wine that each winemaker is going for, they know that, they're, they're focusing on that, and, they're, and they're, they're trying to attain that. So we're not only taking numbers and seeing a history of numbers throughout the growing season, we're also kind of referencing um, the flavors and the development of those flavors and the decrease of some other flavors throughout the growing season. So of course we're tasting as we're sampling those, those, uh, those clusters and those berries and um, kind of keep a mental note of where we think that is and then we can decide how much further along we need to go to plan our pick date. So thanks a lot for watching. This is again Jason Moore from Modus Operandi. Hope you guys are enjoying the wines and uh, have a good day.